Hello and welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. My name is Mike and this is Dustin. We're going to go over the quarterback tiers 1 through 4 for your 2009 fantasy football draft. At tier 1, we got the big three. So not a lot of separation between these three guys as all offer elite fantasy value. At number 1, we got Drew Brees. After throwing for 5,000 yards last season and on a high-powered, potent offense, no reason to expect why he wouldn't have another great season this year. Number two, we got Tom Brady. With the departure of Matt Castle, that should be an indication on how confident New England is in Brady's health. Don't expect the repeat of 07, but he'll certainly be ready for week one. And at number three, we have good old Peyton Manning. 33-year-old, should have a few more solid seasons, and is another safe bet for your QB1 slot. Heading down to Tier 2, we got Aaron Rodgers. He lived up to every bit of hype last year. Not only did he have great passing numbers, but he also had 200 rushing yards and 4 rushing touchdowns as an added bonus. Down number 5, we have Phillip Rivers. He was a touchdown machine last year. He threw for 34 touchdowns. Now we're not sure if he's going to be able to reach 34 passing touchdowns this year, but he should have another good season. Then we got Tony Romo. T.O.'s gone, but they still do have a decent receiving core, and their running game is amazing. It should open up the pass, and we know Dallas loves to throw the ball. Down at number seven, we got Kurt Warner. You know, his age has to play a factor here. At some point, Leinart's going to have to take over that job, but if Warner stays healthy, it'd be impossible for him not to have good numbers with that receiving core. Then down at number eight, we got Schaub. He threw for over 3,000 yards in just 11 games last year. There's so many weapons out there, they have a great offense, they're going to they're gonna score a lot of points, so look for Schaub to improve on his numbers. Then we got Donovan McNabb, it was a roller coaster year for him last year, he had a lot of good games, a lot of just kind of okay games, and he was even benched at one point in week 12 after the first half, and that was kind of a motivating factor for him because he did end the season on a positive note. Hopefully he'll be able to carry that into this year and put up another good season. Down to Tier 3, we start off with Carson Palmer. Two seasons ago, he was a top-tier QB. TJ is gone, and they've signed Coles. And proclaiming his elbow is 100% healthy, he should have a nice bounce-back year. At number 11, we have Matt Ryan. We don't see a sophomore slump here. With a solid supporting cast and the addition of Tony Gonzalez, look for Ryan to have another great year. At number 12, we have Jay Cutler. His fantasy stock took a huge hit when he moved to Chicago. Matt Forte led the team in receptions last year, so Bears receivers are really going to have to step it up if he's going to regain QB1 value. At number 13, we have Matt Castle. Should see plenty of passing opportunities in Kansas City, but he's really going to miss Moss and Welker, as now he's going to be throwing to Bo and the 36-year-old Ingram. And rounding out Tier 3, we have David Garrard. With the addition of Torrey Holt and a beefed-up offensive line, Garrard should provide decent QB2 value. First guy down in Tier 4 is Ben Roethlisberger. We think he's a little overhyped this year. You know, his passing touchdown numbers were down by 15 from 07 to 08. And we really think his touchdown totals in 07 were a fluke. You know, the Steelers are known for good defense and time management. And we just really be careful how high you put Roethlisberger on your rankings for draft day. And down at 16, we have Eli Manning. Plaxico's gone, but he does have enough talent out there where he's still going to be able to put his regular Eli Manning numbers up on the board. And down at 17, we have Joe Flacco. Great rookie year last year. There's no reason to believe he's not going to have better years, better numbers this year. But it is still Baltimore. They're not really known for their passing game. Down at 18, we have Kyle Orton. You know, only one person benefited from Kyle Orton going over to Denver, and that's Kyle Orton. His numbers should improve just because he's on a better offense. Then we got Jake DeLone down at 19. They have a run-happy offense. But defenses are going to have to spend a lot of time and energy stopping that run, which should open up Steve Smith in the passing game. Well, that concludes tiers 1 through 4. Be sure to check out our upcoming videos on tiers 5 through 7, as well as all of our other videos on our rankings and tiers. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our forum at fantasysmacktalk.com. I'm Mike. This is Dustin. Thanks for joining us.